Today was one of those days where I woke up, I looked in my closet and I was like, oh, okay, I have absolutely nothing to wear. Yet I have an entire closet full of clothes and I've done videos like this before. So today I thought it would be fun to dive into my own closet and pull some stuff that I've already got or stuff that I've recently thrifted and come up with like some cute new go-to summer outfits. Since I recently moved, it really threw it in my face. The fact that I just absolutely hoard clothing and I have accumulated so many pieces of clothes over the years and I I just simply never get to wear all of them. And sometimes I'm thrifting things and I'm buying things at such a rapid rate that I don't even have time to appreciate the things that I also just thrifted and bought. So I'm really, really trying to slow down. And I know you all love seeing these kinds of videos as well, where I shop my own closet, kind of work with what I've already got, browse through Pinterest and Instagram for inspo, and then kind of create my own little spin-offs. So some of these are gonna be like directly inspired by Pinterest or IG. Others are just gonna be like, pieces that I thrifted that I genuinely want to wear and try out. So we're just gonna kind of like play dress up today and I'm gonna try on like maybe five, six, who honestly knows, 10, 20, kidding but a lot. We're just gonna try on some different combos and things that I have been really wanting to wear, but maybe I'm not exactly sure how to style and hopefully it'll give you some style inspo as well. So let's jump in and hopefully, hopefully create some of my new go-to summer outfits for 2022. So let's do it. Okay, so this first outfit is loosely based off of a photo that I saw from Ava Jewel's Instagram. And I just thought it was so cute and like simple. And I bet everyone has something similar to it in their closet already. So I thought this would be a good place to start. So uh, the bandana is like the cutest little accessory ever. I always forget they exist. I got this one years ago, like honestly five or so years Ago, it was part of like a scrunchie that had a little bandana tied to it and then this top I believe I got on Poshmark a couple of years back it's so simple it goes with everything I wear it underneath things I wear it on its own but sometimes I can feel like it's maybe just a little bit basic like and I don't exactly know how to style it unless I have some sort of like funky print to go with it or whatever and I like the way that it kind of goes with this and then for the jeans I decided to go with a little bit of a skinnier pair than she's wearing just because I haven't got to wear these yet and these are the old navy highest high-rise jeans i did an entire video on these back like a few months ago i'll link it up here in case you haven't seen it and then my shoes are not exact to hers but again this is going to be inspired and these are the lugged converse so similar in color ish but again using what i already have i do have a pair of white low tops but i thought high tops would look good with this and these are just like a nice kind of oatmeal color and i really actually do like this you know not exact but it's kind of like with my little twist on it so you know the yellow headband I also have a pair of yellow converse that would be really cute with this and it's just nice and simple like there's nothing too fancy about it I also would totally love wearing this look with like a darker wash jean or like a more wide leg jean would be really cute it's pretty simple and really like the kind of outfit itself is bare bones basic but then you have like the cute little touches of the bandana and like the shoes I don't know it's pretty cute I do really really like it I'm gonna give it like a 7 out of 10 this next Next look isn't necessarily inspired by anything, but I really just wanted to wear this because I thrifted this skirt recently. I think it was when I was with my friend Alexa and I love this skirt so much. And I wasn't really sure how I was gonna style it. I think the first time I wore it, I wore like a white puff sleeve shirt with it, but I wasn't in love with it. And I was kind of playing around with a bunch of different combinations. And I wore something similar to this when I went out the other night for drinks with our friends. We went on like a little double date and I wore pretty much exactly this with a different shirt. But then I remembered that I just got this shirt and I kind of like it even better. It's like semi monochromatic moment. This top is from H&M. It's like a slinky material. It's really, really nice, honestly. And yeah, I'm trying to limit my fast fashion these days, but this was really cute and it's really true to size and adorable. And I love the one shoulder and it's got the ruching and it's just very, very cute. And then the skirt, I got at Savers. I absolutely love this print. It fits me like a glove. It's so cute. It's perfect length. I do actually kind of like that the top is a little bit of a warmer brown and then the skirt is a little bit of a cooler brown because I feel like it gives it less of a dress look. I feel like if it was all one color and like the same exact tones it would just look like I was wearing like a bodysuit or like a dress so I like that it very much looks like I'm wearing a top and a skirt together. And then to go with it of course I had to throw on my black thrifted cowboy boots. I found these on ThreadUp. They're amazing and I just feel like this era that we're in right now with like dress 
dresses and cowboy boots, midi skirts and cowboy boots, shorts and cowboy boots is like so much fun. It's very fearless 2008. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you know, but yeah, I love this. It's like a perfect blend of kind of, I'm in my 30s, I'm going out for drinks, but also like, you know, I'm from Tennessee and Arizona and I like to have a little fun. It's like a good mix of age appropriate while also like young and funky at the same time. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. It's probably my favorite so far, but we have a long way to go. Next, we have a look that I was like directly inspired from Pinterest and it's super cute, very casual, very fun for summer, but also like dressy at the same time, you know? I love it. I love this sort of like laid back style, but like still kind of dressy, if that makes sense. It just feels like very effortless to me. So this top is from Thread Up. I think I got it a couple of months ago and I've been wearing the hell out of it. This black slinky skirt is one of my favorite thrifted finds of the year. It's so good. I think I found it at a saver. It's just so comfortable. It fits me beautifully. Yes, the white on top and the black long skirt on bottom is kind of choir concert-esque, but I feel like the way I have this styled is giving me a pass. You know what I mean? And then I just threw my hair up in a claw clip. This picture had silver accessories, the person in this picture. I only have gold accessories, so I threw some of those on. And then of course, my trusted Doc Martens Boss sandals. I bought these a year ago. They're the most comfortable sandals I own. I didn't have to break them in, surprisingly because they're Doc Martens and they're just like they go with everything they go with dresses they go with pants they go with overalls like they're just so cute and they've become such a staple in my wardrobe so to kind of mimic her platform sandals that the girl in the inspo pic is wearing I decided to go with this and I kind of love this I think it's like really really simple but very cute at the same time and that's kind of what I'm going for and just a super easy way to take what I've already got in my closet and create an entirely new outfit with it so yeah I I love it. I'm gonna give this like an eight and a half out of 10. Like it's nearly perfect. I do kind of wish that the top was a little bit more cropped so that it would just look a little trendier, a little bit more style. But overall, I think this outfit is so adorable and I will definitely be wearing it this summer. All right, this outfit is very, it's different, okay? But bear with me. I think I kind of like the white and the ivory together. This is like your, you know, bisexual cousin that went to art school or something like that. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting but I love this. I love these overalls so much and I've had them for over a year now and I think I've only worn them like two times, which is a shame. I just never exactly know what to wear them with. And now that I'm thinking about it, the last outfit that I just wore, that white tube top would also look really, really cute with these, but we'll stick with the t-shirt for now. This little baby tee is cropped. It's from Arizona Jean Co. I thrifted it. I think I got it on Poshmark maybe. And then yeah, these overalls I got at Old Navy. They're so cute. They're like the perfect, just slight crop. And then I decided to do a socks with Birkenstocks moment. I was very into Birkenstock clogs when I was in high school. These were like the shoe. So the fact that they're coming back around doesn't surprise me, but it also just makes me super happy. I thrifted these when I was with Alexa a couple of months ago and it's just so cute. This outfit I feel so, so comfortable in. Like I could go do anything in this, obviously anything within reason. <laughs> anything where I don't have to be like too, too dressed up. And I just think it goes so well together. Together. I also think that in the first look, the yellow bandana that I wore would be really cute with this as well. Kind of going with the theme, but yeah, it's like a little bit granola-y, a little bit trendy. I don't know. I really, really do like it. It may not be for everyone, but you know, you could obviously wear like a pair of just denim overalls. I have those as well, but I wanted to wear this pair particularly because I've seen a lot of them recently. Like I've seen these sort of more kind of khaki-esque overalls becoming really popular and I wanted to test it out for myself and I'm pretty pleased with it. Do I think I could do better in the shirt department? Yeah but I still think it's really cute. So if you also have a pair of overalls in your closet that you haven't worn for a year like me and you wanna try something new, I would recommend it. I will wear some variation of this this summer for sure. And last but not least, we have this outfit, which I don't even know if this is necessarily inspired by anything in particular, like any one photo, but I mean, you can find a million outfits like this if you go on Instagram and Pinterest right now. So I decided to create a version that was like a little bit my own. So I decided to go with this thrifted top, which we all know that I struggle with the white button ups. I have 10 plus years of waiting tables under my belt. So I do have a little bit of trauma wearing this, a little bit of server trauma, but when you wear it kind of open and like loose like this and maybe even hanging off the shoulder, I do feel like it gives a totally different vibe. It's less of a dress shirt and more of like a cover up. And I just think it looks so cute 
cute all put together. So yeah, this is um, from Thread Up, I believe. Or maybe I thrifted it, I can't remember, but very comfortable. And then this top is actually a sports bra from Girlfriend Collective. I can't remember the name of the bra, but I'll link it down below. And it has like a built-in shelf bra, which is extra great. And I just love this brown color. I think like uh, some kind of color underneath is cute. You could do like a black, you could do like a hot pink. I love the options for color. And then these shorts are actually from Abercrombie. These are called the dad shorts, I believe, the high-rise dad short. These are like the kind of crisscross waist version, but they do have a straight across waist version. And I love that these are a little bit more cut off. I showed these in a recent video where I was trying to find the perfect summer shorts that I filmed a few months ago. So I'll link that up here in case you haven't seen it. But for the shoes, I decided to go with my platform Converse with like a cute little sock moment. I do think this is really adorable. Like this isn't my style specifically. I did a little clip in the hair as well, but I thought even with like a little tote bag, like I do look kind of like a farmer's market girly, you know, and I'm kind of into it. I'm really loving how this sort of like menswear mixed with really casual chill elements is super popular right now. And I think this looks adorable. I will absolutely be wearing this outfit also with the Birkenstocks. Hold on, let me switch this out because this is cute, but I think with the Birkenstocks, it would be even cuter. Like it's just such a farmer's market outfit to me. Okay, here it is with the fake Birkenstocks with it, which I also think is really, really cute. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. It's really great. It's casual. It's comfortable. It's sweat proof. So like, you know, if I'm sweating, I can take this shirt off and just wear the cute little tank and it's very moisture wicking because it's actually a sports bra. <laughs> Preferably like swimsuit material. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this and I'm glad that I did this because again, I'm going to take photos of all of these, keep them on my phone, save them for a rainy day when I don't know what to wear and I can have like a foundation of what I want to look for. Instead of feeling like I always need to like go and shop for new things, I can see what kind of works best with whatever kind of mood I'm in and and what items I want to wear and all that kind of stuff. So I think we did some pretty good work today. Like I'm actually quite pleased with the majority of these and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will most likely be wearing some version of these throughout this summer and hopefully you will too. And if you do, tag me in a comment or in your photo or whatever, that would be my dream come true. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos in the comments below. I really do think I'm going to be doing like a massive pare down of my wardrobe coming up pretty soon. So if you want to see more of that kind of content, you know, the digging into my own closet type of vibe, then let me know. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video.